United States of America, the democratic leader of the world, unparalleled in our pursuit of excellence, continues to set the bar for both human rights and individual freedoms. When viewed in concert, security, economic stability, equality, and tolerance are the catalyst of democracy and justice. But without the foundation of democracy and ju justice, there would be no order and civilization would descend into lawless society which preys upon the weak and the fragile. The old age wisdom of Hill of Elder, Hill of the Elder, repeated, transmitted throughout the generations is, do not do unto others what you do not want done unto yourself. Elegant, simple, yet profound to its core. Hill established this as the basis for tolerance and equality. Recognizing that in order to be free in the true sense of freedom, one must be allowed to exercise his rights according to his conscience. Consistent improvement, innovations have become our standard, forced into an environment of tolerance and stability to propel each citizen to a level of freedom that allows them to live free as the framers of the Constitution envisioned. Do those words sound familiar? because they were spoken to us here in chamber on Wednesday, January 5th, 2011, when we opened up this session. That's the prayer that we all bowed our heads and asked God for. These are the things that we asked God for, each and every one of us in this chamber. I guess the old adage, be careful what you pray for, is true for some of us. I know it is for me, having researched the cost of weddings. <laughs> but what, what I do want to talk about are my colleagues here and my friends. So many of you, I know, have anguished over this issue. I know you have been harassed day in, day out by certain political organizations, certain religious organizations, and yet you continue to stand up for me as your friend, saying you are equal to me. I am your equal. And I want to thank those of you in this chamber who are my friend. And I know when I do get married, and I will, and it will be soon, as soon as I save up the money. I think one of the hardest decisions I'm going to have to make is who is going to be my best man or my best woman, my best person. I know it certainly could be Mr. Miller, even though we barely know each other, but thank you. Certainly Mr. Cusick, who I know takes a lot of crap on this issue, but yet still stands for me. And I know certainly it might even be my uh, surrogate wife and housekeeper here. <laughs> who has been so good to uh, every uh, gay or lesbian New Yorker in this state. Thank you, Senator. What I'm hoping for my other friends in this chamber is that what they'll do when it's time to vote, if you can't do it for me as your friend, if you truly don't believe I'm your equal, but you're doing it because you're being pressured by someone, I certainly hope for your sake that you will at the very least protect your legacy as a public official. That's all I ask of you is to please look to the future and protect your legacy as a human being. Mr. Speaker, whamadoodle, I will be voting in the positive.